My precious one, I am always with you, guiding your steps. Even when you feel lost and unsure of which way to turn, I am there leading you gradually into your destiny. I see you when no one else takes notice. I hear your voice when others are too busy for you. I catch every tear that falls from your eyes over secret pains within. You are never alone, because I promised I would never leave you. Won't you take my hand, beloved? Won't you lean in close to me to hear my gentle whisper rising above the chaos? As you slow down to listen and learn my ways, such peace and confidence will envelop your soul. The questions that plague you, the fears that torment you, the lack you contend with, these will vanish in the light of my truth penetrating your spirit. Getting to know me changes everything. As you set your gaze upon my face instead of your circumstances, hope and joy will spring forth. When you put your union with me first, instead of always trying to be productive, you'll be pleasantly surprised by how many good things come your way. Yes, there are urgent needs to be met in this broken world. There are assignments lined up for your unique gifts and callings. But first and foremost, your priority must be sitting at my feet like Mary, receiving revelation that will carry you through the storms ahead. That foundation of knowing who you are in me is essential above all else. What good does it profit you to gain the whole world and yet lack union with me? Many have painstakingly built platforms and kingdoms destined to crumble because faith was forsaken in the process. They have neglected to tend their souls and made spirituality a mere task to check off instead of the lifeline it is. Don't let this be your story, my child. Make time for what matters for eternity. Make space for us to talk heart to heart. It will require saying no to other obligations, disappointing expectations, and leaving comfort zones. But as your roots in me grow deeper, you will go farther and flourish in every endeavor. It all flows from oneness with me. Now I assure you, when I say your life must become as nothing to you, this is not to strip away your personality or deny you basic human needs and desires. I intended you for laughter, community, beauty for the eyes, fascinating questions, favorite foods, the arts, adventure, meaningful work, and so much more for your enjoyment. Do not think you must forsake every pleasure in grim resignation. Not at all. My intention is that you would hold everything you are and have with open hands rather than clenched fists, so that when adversity strikes you do not collapse because something precious was ripped away without your consent, so that you are empowered to steward resources for the greater good rather than stockpiling, hoarding in fear of future lack. I want you free, unchained from the delusion that you control outcomes in this brief existence. Consider the lilies of the field arrayed more beautifully than Solomon. Consider the birds crying out for their breakfast, yet supplied faithfully each morning. Do they worry, catastrophize, drive themselves mad trying to guarantee provision and security for decades to come? No, they simply receive what I give today with thanksgiving. My child, won't you follow their example? This concept of holding on loosely is so counterintuitive to the human mind your instincts for self-preservation shout that more is better. Accumulate as much as possible now to avoid pain later. I do not ask you to adopt reckless, irresponsible behaviors. But I call you higher. I invite you deeper. Into radical reliance on me for everything you could possibly need. As you yield control of your life to my direction and timing, miraculous freedom follows. As you find your confidence, worth, and validation solely in me instead of people, possessions, or accomplishments, you become unstoppable with holy boldness and resilience. As you accept that your days on this side of eternity could end abruptly any moment, it ignites urgency to walk in passionate obedience. Are you willing to give up your personal comforts and plans to help others for my sake? Would you be brave enough to pray for big changes that might disrupt your stable life if it means growing my kingdom? Can you let go, look up, and have faith in achieving more than you can on your own? More love, more happiness, more knowledge, more blessings, more lasting rewards that money can't buy. Take my words to heart this day. 
I will fan into flame every gift and calling I instilled in you. Reconciliation. Redemption. Prodigals coming home. Miracles confirming my word. Unusual supernatural encounters. These all stream non-stop in a life wholly devoted to me. Will you answer my call to come up higher this day? Will you open your hands and heart afresh to me? I am entrusting you with holy assignments awaiting your yes. Partner with me for such a time as this. I cannot wait to reveal mysteries and shower spiritual blessings hitherto unknown. You have but scratched the surface of all I have prepared for you, beloved. It's going to be magnificent beyond anything you've imagined. But it starts with surrender. One leap of faith at a time. My beloved children, you are the light of the world, made in my image. I wish to have a close friendship with each one of you, to guide you and see you flourish. Your well-being and growth bring me great joy. I created this world for you out of generous love. All that is beautiful and good comes from me. I crafted you with thought and care, each one utterly unique, but all sharing in my boundless divine love. You need never question your value or my devotion to you. Walk with me daily through prayer, scripture, worship. Draw near and listen in stillness to hear my voice. Let my spirit fill you and transform you to share in my pure holy love. The more time we spend together, the more our hearts are knitted as one. You come to know me, trust me, follow my lead step by step. I am an all-powerful God, yet I choose gentleness, patience, compassion. Never overriding your freedom, but inviting you to lay down your anxieties and pride. My yoke is easy and my burden light when you walk in trust with me. I will give you all that you need. Seek first my kingdom, live according to my ways, and you will lack nothing. You can be confident that I work all things for the good of those who follow me. At times storms will come. Hardships are allowed to strengthen and refine you, build your reliance on me. Know that I am with you always, holding your hand through the darkness. If you remain devoted to me despite distress, our relationship grows immensely. More than solving difficulties, I long to be your sole refuge and hope. I use all circumstances to draw you close and transform you to radiate me. The world's enticements will vie for your allegiance, pleasure, power, possessions, status. Yet only in me is lasting joy and purpose found. All else is fleeting. Keep your eyes fixed on me, not diverted by superficial diversions. I am the pearl of greatest price worth sacrificing all to obtain. Offer me daily every priority, plan, possession, relationship. Hold all with an open hand. Seek God's kingdom first and trust me to add blessings beyond measure. As you walk closely with me, delighting in my presence, you will shine brilliantly for others to see me. Your life and words will point them to me. I will defeat evil, restore and bring salvation by demonstrating and declaring selfless, courageous love through you. This brings me immense glory. I bless those who forsake all to fervently serve me, akin to a brave soul rushing into a blazing inferno to save another. Such noble deeds reflect my own heart, for I too relinquished all and humbled myself to deliver you. Extend mercy, assistance, and hope. Stand as a defender for the weak and the voiceless. Boldly proclaim truth to those in authority. Mend the hearts of the sorrowful. My beloved, you have infinite significance in this fallen, broken world. Your role only grows in importance and impact as you yield more of yourself to me. Say yes, Lord, when I prompt you to step out in faith. Do not hesitate or doubt me. Trust that I equip those I call. I give power far beyond human means to those devoted fully to my purposes. You may face mockery, hostility, and persecution for identifying with me. Evil will resist the loss of its slaves. Expect attack when confronting it. But have courage, for I have overcome the world. 
I walk with you through the darkness, using all for eventual good. Nothing can separate you from my unconquerable love. Stand confidently on my words of truth and life. The Bible is your sword, armor, and banner. Wield scripture courageously against evil, lies, and fear. My words judge the thoughts of hearts and defeat demonic powers. Speak scripture boldly by my spirit. It releases my power. Pursue time with me above all else. Make our relationship your highest aim in life, beyond all other dreams, goals, roles, and duties. Let your deepest identity and belonging be found in me. I am your true home. Abide in my love. Fear nothing while walking with me. I hold you securely. The infinite power that flung stars into space sustains you. My love envelops you perfectly. Your name is etched into my hands and heart. My child, the posture of your heart is what matters most to me. You may stumble and fall, but I will always come to lift you back up. For I am a God who delivers. I will provide for your every need. For I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. But it's not the provisions themselves that matter. But rather whether you continue to place your trust in me above all else. The money and possessions of this world will fade away but my love and promises endure forever. This world cannot satisfy you, but I can fill you with my peace and joy. So come to me when you are weary and burdened. Lay your cares at my feet and find your rest in me. It takes great strength and courage to completely surrender your life to me, to give up control and lay everything down for my sake. I know the landscape of your life more intimately than you could ever imagine. I see the secret thoughts of your heart and the hidden motives behind all your actions. Nothing escapes my sight. When you survey the circumstances of your life and see barrenness, lack, and dissatisfaction in certain areas, know that I have allowed these thorns in order to reveal what still has hold over your heart. I discipline those I love so do not lose heart when I begin revealing and stripping away these idols you cling to. For some of you, money has become an idol that prevents you from wholly trusting in me as your provider. You hoard every penny out of fear and scarcity rather than generously sharing with those in need. The enemy uses lies and distortions to make you believe you will never have enough, that I cannot be relied upon to meet your needs. How this grieves me. Every good and perfect gift comes down from my hand, so give freely without worrying about tomorrow. Hold loosely to earthly wealth and acknowledge that I alone own the cattle on a thousand hills. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Seek first my kingdom, living righteously before me, and all else will be given to you as well. For others, food has become a false source of comfort and control, which damages your body and temple. Out of anxiety over having enough, you overindulge without restraint, trying to satiate a hunger no food can fill. You believe the deceiver's lies that you must grasp and hoard instead of receiving my provision with thanks and sharing with others. Remember the bread from heaven I graciously supplied my people in the wilderness, though they had no food or resources of their own. I miraculously sustained millions with manna for forty years, providing fresh bread every morning. I am the true bread of life who came down from heaven to feed you spiritually and nourish you eternally. In your most important relationships you have surrounded yourself with worldly friends and partners who draw your heart away from me rather than towards me. Stop embracing those who entice you into sin and rebellion against my ways. You rationalize maintaining these spiritually unhealthy soul ties, but light has no fellowship with darkness. It is time to let go of affiliations where my spirit is not welcome. Purpose to bond instead with like-minded followers who spur you on to righteousness, peace, and joy. How can two walk together unless they agree? Be wise in choosing friends who will be ambassadors of my kingdom rather than adversaries of all I hold dear. In all areas where you are experiencing lack and dissatisfaction, 
Identify any misplaced affections and hidden idols residing on the throne of your heart rather than me. What fears, control issues, or other gods are you allowing into your inner sanctum, preventing full abandonment and trust? Examine your heart honestly before me. Bring these false loves into the light so I can begin setting you free from their clutches. For too long you have believed fabricated lies that what you see in the natural is all there is. You have lost sight of me, forgetting my sovereignty, goodness, and eternal perspective. Regain vision to see events and circumstances through my eyes of boundless grace and power. Take off the blinders and filters which obscure a kingdom perspective steeped in resurrection hope. Falsehoods which exalt the visible yet temporal while diminishing eternal spiritual reality will only breed anxiety, scarcity, and dissatisfaction in you. But as you perpetually fix your gaze upon me as the unseen source of all good gifts, I will transform your mind and thinking to align more with me each day. What may initially require great conscious effort and intentionality will become more reflexive and automatic. You will learn to instantly view lack or resistance not as a threat, but an opportunity to witness my miraculous intervention and provision firsthand. Constant communion and fellowship with me will override fleshly instincts of fear and control with spiritual instincts of faith and trust. Though surroundings remain dim, my blazing countenance shining upon you will enable you to walk securely in the darkest valley. The question will shift from, will God come through for me, to, how will I see my faithful, mighty Father gloriously meet this need? The posture of your heart always remains key. I oppose the proud but give grace to the humble. If you approach me admitting weakness and inability, apart from me, but find strength in the assurance of my grace toward you, tremendous power is released. Contrast this with an attitude of arrogant self-sufficiency, which blocks my loving overtures to uplift and sustain you. Pride inhibits receiving what I long to lavish freely upon dependent children, acknowledging their helplessness without me. Remember how Sarai in her impatience tried to fulfill my promise on her own through Hagar, instead of waiting for my perfect timing. The child born from this effort, Ishmael, was a result of human action, not my supernatural plan. If only Sarai had trusted in my sovereignty a bit longer, instead of insisting on taking action herself, she could have avoided so much heartache. And then, as I had planned, Isaac was born at the right time, a miracle of my doing. So I urge you to resist the temptation to take matters into your own hands. Don't justify any means to achieve what I have promised. Wait patiently for my guidance, for what I decide will always come to pass. As you yield more control to me, almost unconsciously prioritizing obedience over outcomes, our relationship enters an exciting new dimension, characterized by mutual delight. My spirit empowers you increasingly to embrace sacrifice and service with joy for love of me. Kingdom priorities eclipse fleshly temptations. Sensitivity to my prompting in each moment takes precedence over personal preference. Fruitful activity flows from closeness with me rather than striving and busyness. I shape you into a conduit of my loving presence to others, pouring out rivers of living water everywhere you go. And as you walk closely with me, exemplifying the humility, trust, and obedience I desire, get ready to be astonished by what I am about to do. For I take great pleasure in prospering my faithful children, especially those who have persevered in seeking me above all. Expect sudden acceleration into long-awaited promise fulfillment which will overwhelm you with awe and jubilation. What you could not make happen in your own strength, I will perform swiftly and effortlessly because you have chosen the way of surrender and faith. Stand back now and watch what I, the God of the impossible, am able to achieve as you bow low, pray boldly, and release matters into my capable hands. The extent of coming breakthrough, freedom, and transformation depends upon your willingness to relinquish what you cling to so dearly 
in exchange for all I have reserved for you. Consider again those areas of lack and dissatisfaction in your life. What comforts do you rely on apart from me which inhibit receiving my best? What relationships or possessions compete for my rightful place occupying the throne of your heart? Remember, the tighter you hold on to anything, even if it seems good, over me, the harder it becomes for you to receive all the blessings I have waiting for you in my outstretched hands. Ask for courage not to retreat in fear from difficult narrow paths on which I lovingly lead you for your growth, maturity, and blessing. Do not settle for the easier road of chasing temporary pleasures which never ultimately satisfy. Your real life is with me, so invest in that imperishable treasure stored up in heaven through yielding self fully to me each day. You truly have no idea the extent of wondrous spiritual realities. I desire to show you, if you walk the course behind me, in unconditional trust. With me as your foundation, source, guide, and vision, you become unshakable, unflappable, unafraid, because your mind remains fixed on things above, not on earthly conditions subject to change. My peace transcends circumstances. My joy bubbles up continually from within the well of living waters I have placed in you. Confidence remains high no matter what you face because your help and deliverer is none other than me. No weapon formed against you can succeed when I shield you. No plan conceived against you will come to fruition because I frustrate the schemes of the enemy on your behalf. Believe it and receive it by faith. Now is your season for advance. No more delay. As you release a measure of control into my hands, nullifying fear's paralysis, get ready to witness my energizing, catalyzing power, propelling you forward into broad spaces of blessings untold. Be brave and see how I, your God, show my power through those who are fully devoted to me, even in their frailty. Every day miracles occur as I demonstrate my loving rule to those who are attentive and open, who are part of my family and cherished ones. Stay close to me, hold on to me, call out for me, and see the amazing things I will do. Find your joy in me, and I will fulfill your deepest wishes, because I love to give wonderful gifts and bless my children. I will always deliver you because I am a God who always comes through. I remain perfectly faithful when everything around you changes. I cannot lie, deny myself, or break covenant. So heaven and earth may pass away, but my promises will never pass away unfulfilled. Rest in this security and certainty. My commitment, loyalty, dependability, and steadfast love endure forever as an anchor for your soul when all else around you seems shifting and unstable. I remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am who I am, the great I am. Before time began, I am. After this world fades, I am still God all by myself, everlasting to everlasting, forever and ever. So lift your head boldly as royalty, called according to my purpose. Squaring shoulders back and straightening posture, wear your identity with dignity as my priceless treasured possession. No matter the opposition faced, Pummel forward courageously together, linked arm in arm with angel armies unseen by limited natural eyes beholding temporary visible skirmishes. But enabled by my spirit to peer beyond the passing facade into unseen, eternal reality, my triumphant ones walk forward, undeterred by earthly upheaval. With a face set like flint, you press on towards securing the prize calling you, moving from glory to glory and victory to victory until your appointed race is fully complete. And on that glorious day when you finally stand before me and survey the landscape of eternity from this heavenly realm, you will comprehend fully all I lovingly allowed to increase humility, patience, and reliance upon me. Tears of gratitude will stream down faces aglow with my glory emanating through you. In a moment of genuine happiness and deep joy, You'll find yourself celebrating the incredible things I've carefully arranged to show you my love. A love that's endless and free. There are endless delights in being with me, where you'll experience complete joy. 
This joyous place full of wonder and beauty is yours forever because of the great value I've placed on you. You are truly treasured and loved in my eyes. So now, at journey's beginning, while feet still tread this temporal path, I bid you to come. Yield yourself fully to me in unconditional trust and wholehearted devotion. Take my hand of grace extended toward you and cling tightly as I guide you through shadowed valleys into eternity's unfiltered light. I love you with an everlasting love that knows no boundaries. Keep saying yes to me, opening access to more of me. I have so much yet in store. My child, feel the warmth of my love surrounding you. There are no barriers between us. I am with you always. Do not trouble yourself with doubts or fears. I am your rock and your shield. You are not lost, for I have found you. I know your name. I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you took your first breath, I knew you. You may not know the path ahead, but I light the way before your feet. I guide your steps each moment. I will never forsake you. Hear me now. Any voice that does not align with my truth has no power over you. Pay no heed to harsh words, false judgments, or swirling confusion. Be still in my presence and know that I am God. I bring peace to calm the raging storm within you. I speak order into the chaos. Clarity where there was fog. Let my glory pierce through. Let it flood your mind and illuminate your purpose. The enemy's schemes are powerless before my light. You need not strain to see the future, for I unveil it in my perfect time. Yet even now, behold, I set a vision in your heart. What is this glimpse of days to come? A promising career, a loving family, ministry to bless multitudes. Cherish this vision, nurture this seed of destiny. Speak life over it daily. Fix your eyes upon it always. Attach unshakable faith to what I show you. Refuse to let it go, and surely, as the sunrise, it will burst forth into your life. For nothing is impossible with me. Dearest one, do you still doubt? Do circumstances loom so large they eclipse your view of me? Then hear this promise given long ago, as true today as then. I will open rivers in the desert wasteland, streams in the dry wilderness to water my people. I will make a way when you see no way. The very dust obeys my command. Can I not open doors in marble walls? Level mountains blocking your path? Transport resources from realms unseen into your hands? My thoughts soar higher than the heavens above you. My ways utterly surpass yours. Test me in this. See if I will not pour out abundant blessing on your obedience, until overflowing joy is your daily cup. This life stream is but a glimpse, a sip, of the vast inheritance I have prepared for you, my precious child. Even now, the Comforter stands ready to reveal more to you. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and watch what doors swing open before you. The visions will increase until your human mind can scarcely contain the wonders I have ordained for you. You were created for glory, fashioned to walk in domains unknown to mortal men. As dew vanishes under the sunrise, so shall every shield of darkness melt before the dawning light I place within you. For you are not lost. You are found, known, loved, set free. Now enter into my boundless grace. Let it soak into every fiber of your being until my image emerges through you. Yes, my child, wield my power. Speak my word. Heaven itself responds to your commands spoken in faith. Compassion will fill you for the lost and weary souls still stumbling in the gloom. My passion for humanity will consume your reborn heart. As you walk this winding path, uncertain of what lies ahead, know that my gentle hand is guiding you. With the light of truth shining on each step, what seemed unsure will be filled with purpose and meaning. I am walking closely beside you, blessing you with compassion and wisdom for your journey. Even when trials come to test your spirit, my peace will flow through you like a river, reassuring you that you are never alone. I am aware of every hurt, 
every secret corner of your heart, and I meet you there with healing love. As the Divine Physician, I am patiently healing your wounds, easing your shame, anger, and regret. Feel the freedom in releasing these burdens. I smile as you embrace your calling, as you rise to join those spreading the good news of my boundless grace. As you become an ambassador of my heart, a heart filled with justice and joy, you give new meaning to your days. With my word as your guide, step forward boldly. The path may have challenges, but with my strong hand in yours, you can overcome any obstacle. Each lesson you learn, each person you comfort, brings you closer to the ultimate destination where one day you will see me face to face. And I will say to you, well done, my beloved one, well done.